The economic aspects of Kalos Therapeutic are very uh, attractive for investors. We're currently raising $2.3 million, which will allow us to file our IND uh, with the FDA. This is where we seek the, our initial new drug application. We do our approval so that we can go back into human testing. At this point, we've had discussions with several big pharma companies who are interested in our technology because it's novel, it will be first in generation, it will be disruptive technology to the marketplace because we'll change the way patients get treated. They're interested in collaborating with us. As you all know, Big Pharma have been doing deals with biomeds quite frequently, pre-revenue especially in the last few years. If the deals or collaboration aren't of really attractive for Kalos, we'll have an opportunity with this data to go out and raise eight to ten million dollars to complete our phase one studies. We've designed these so that we can complete the studies in the U.S., gather our main data and some data for our potential partners who we'll collaborate with. Again, we'll have the opportunity, optionality is very important in our business, to if the raise is good, the data continues to be good, we if we choose to go forward, about $25 million will be necessary to go into fully controlled phase two, seeking that rapid review and early approval. We're dealing with orphan drugs, unmet medical need, so we definitely have the opportunity to progress very quickly through our clinical trials to approval. What's the company worth? Well. We had one of the best known CFOs in the industry take a look at Kalos. This is someone who's worked on major deals before who understands valuation. Looking at where we're at now, at the end of year one, after we raise this money, we'll file our IND and the valuation of the company jumps to about $15 million. Once we get into our phase one offering at the end of year two, company valuation will jump up to an estimated sixty million dollars. After year three, where we started to get an early look at data in phase two, the valuation of the company jumps up to about hundred and sixty million dollars. This has become a sweet spot in the industry for acquisition by big pharmas of biomed companies like Kalos. Most biopharma exits happen pre-revenue. Very few ever get all the way through developing their own product and selling it. One, it's easier for a small company that can pivot on a dime and stay flexible to develop a drug, especially in a new area like pancreatic or ovarian where we're, we're talking about a virulent cancer, an unmet need. We have the opportunity to bring pressure to these small clinical trials with these new therapeutics and get them to market more quickly. But there's no sense in us recreating the wheel. We don't need to build our own sales force. We can collaborate or work with our big pharma partners to help us sell our drugs and to provide an exit for our investors. Most people say, well, you know, I might want to invest in tech instead of biomed. Well, I understand it used to take forever to get a drug approved. The averages were in that 10 to 12 year range, a billion dollars plus of money had to be put into the company to get a drug approved. That's no longer true. The median time to approval in these biomed exits in excess of $25 million is only about six years, where a tech exit is about five and a half years in that same range. So you no longer have to be tied up for long periods of time in a biotech investment to get to that exit or payday. There are more and more early stage deals being done all the time because of the competition in big pharma and the way their pipeline is thinned out. Last year, the markets heated up. We had more IPOs than we've had in, in years. Big Pharma is competitive and they're looking to bring new products to market. Our approach is novel, new, unique, and a new generation of drugs. We'll have competition. There'll be people coming to see how our drug is working so that they can collaborate with us. That will give us opportunities for acquisition, out licensing, spin-off. There's a quote from the CEO of Lilly. We expect to be very active in this space, and we're going to be buyers. Late in 2013, these are the most recent stats on acquisition, Clovis bought a, a, a little Italian company, not much bigger than Kalos, for $200 million. There are deals that range from $200 million to $500 million. The biomedical industry 
rewards you for success in, in very large numbers. So our investors that are faithful and stick with Kalos have an opportunity to change the way patients get treated and to be rewarded handsomely for that. Summary, the terms, 16 cents a share for a preferred A convertible that pays an 8% coupon so that you get paid to wait while we develop the drug, plus you'll have a preferred position in stock with an opportunity to increase your position later through warrants. It's a very rich deal for investors. Let me remind you, we have the only approach that addresses the primary tumor and the comorbidity. We're cost effective and formulary friendly. We've created a platform for multiple drug launches, multiple cancers, adult macular degeneration, veterinary and animal health. So we give our investors an opportunity to have multiple kicks at the can and for the company's sake, multiple opportunities for approval from the FDA. This is Kalo Therapeutics. My name is George Kohlberg. I'd love to hear from you if you're interested in working with us. Thank you.